I get it, but if I'm right then you should listen at least to what I am spitting Let me prove there's a couple of lies floating around That have viewed now as biblical truths but are sound The first lie is that God loves everybody and is misleading Like he's not punishing anybody Jesus taught a radical definition of love And the desires that we have is just to prove enough No hell, cause that wouldn't be loving So many do ignore his claim that he will judge them So they just think if they mention his name occasionally The that would probably be sufficient Presuming upon his mercy their actions would bear this witness The second lie is is that his love is unconditional and he accepts you as you are but that is really mythical accepting people as they are would be kind of strange to accept them and then you tell them that they have to change but that's what the lord does he is not unconditional he's transformational turning you into how he wants you to be in light of the three on behalf of that we get this memo it's not nintendo i'm telling you he ain't playing. god doesn't love you god doesn't have a very high opinion of you god isn't sitting there thinking you're untouchable that he never punished you for all the stuff you're doing and all the stuff you're gonna do god does not love you like he loves a Christian no matter what they telling you you should not listen God does not need you God does not believe in you you are not good enough his mercy intervene for you God doesn't love you God doesn't have a very high opinion of you God isn't sitting there thinking you're untouchable that he never punish you for all the stuff you're doing and all the stuff you're gonna do God does not love you like he loves a Christian no matter what they telling you you should not listen God does not need you God does not believe in you you are not good enough his mercy intervene for you Talk about a hard pill to swallow When you go against the grain of the cultural model Even if you lead them the truth, they won't follow When what you're saying is solid, someone will always scream hollow Cause that's the motto in the church is ignoring the scriptures It's obscene like the bride is a whoring in pictures Hoping to win the world, the church just tore with the stitches That hold the world accountable cause it's morbid and vicious We put too much up on the plate and that's more than some dishes And we just took over the show like this touring with tickets We should've quit like the ones that move forward with picket Signs but didn't, so now they abhor us It's just the quickest, it's time it turns like a twist to be how we in human history Get to this point where we have no say It ain't no big mystery, see When you tell people John 316 Is what they gotta take and you negate 318 You make a big mistake and the people They feel safe like a combination that twist Read 336 Who you think the people all is condemned Are they alive now and powwow with God and somehow Don't have to bow down and actually he's forgiven now Though they reject Christ and God is so nice That he's like, hey, I'll just forgive you, right? Wrong, I hate to be the one to say it But in consonants I vow to like I'm spelling okay it's crazy to hear that God loves you and won't judge you like his wrath is something in the past like where it was you when the church did this making the gospel message God loves you but what people heard is my sin is accepted cause there's no wrath or reason to judge him he just loves them though they hate Christ they think God will just hug them and they wrong so I put this in the song and they hate it if you're an unbeliever here's the repeal in your matrix God doesn't love you God doesn't have a very high opinion of you God isn't sitting there thinking you're untouchable that he never punished you for all the stuff you're doing and all the stuff you're gonna do god does not love you like he loves a christian no matter what they're telling you you should not listen god does not need you god does not believe in you you are not good enough his mercy intervene for you god doesn't love you god doesn't have a very high opinion of you god isn't sitting there thinking you're untouchable that he never punished you for all the stuff you're doing and all the stuff you're gonna do god does not love you like he loves a christian no matter what they're telling you you should not listen god does not need you god does not believe in you you are not I'm wondering if people will still be offended by that reality, even though you've given it some biblical proof. What do you think you'll say to people who are offended at what you're saying in this song? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I I just think, yeah, I mean, honestly, man, to be honest with you, just like, like, show me from the scriptures, man, because I feel like a lot of times with these types of issues, a lot of people are offended emotionally, like it doesn't feel right to them. It's not, but you got to show me from the scriptures, man. Like if I'm wrong, show me in the scriptures that I'm wrong and I'll, I'll recant 
if you will. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I use John mm-hmm. 3, which is what everyone uses, John mm-hmm. 3, 16. Mm-hmm. But then I showed, like, even 3, 18 and 3, 30, 6. Like, it's clear that, like, if you don't believe in Jesus, you're condemned already. Mm-hmm. So, so I would just say, man, on that, just show me from the scriptures, man, that I'm wrong. And I'll say that I'm wrong. But if I'm not, then I think you got to think about what does the Bible really say about God's love and are you using it appropriately? Mm, very, very good, Mr. Kennedy. Hmm. Giving us a lot to think about. Now, me and you were talking, and I'm curious to know how you're processing all of the things that are happening in culture. I know that on Frustrated Christian, you made Christian racist and Paula Dean, and, and then on Chapter 2, you gave us how we got here just to kind of explain some of the challenges of being black and being a Christian. So what thoughts do you have now about what's happening with, with all of the different race situations that have really exploded. 